Do you want to learn something really cool that I just learned? Let's say you've got some dependent variable like skill acquisition and you just can't get a model to work. You just can't figure out what predicts skill acquisition. Well, what you can do is go to Analyze, Regression, Automatic Linear Modeling. And it'll start like this where you, you need a target and uh, you need predictors. It automatically throws everything in your data set into predictors, so you need to weed that out a bit. First, I'm going to go get the dependent variable, which is skill acquisition, and then throw that over there. And then, what in here do I not want to use to predict uh, skill acquisition? I'm really not that interested in gender predicting it, or education, uh, or being an early adopter. Um, Everything else I think I'm, oh, age, not really that important for my theory. Okay, here are the things I want to use to predict skill acquisition. Just hit run, and it runs, hopefully, there we go, hopefully, there. And it comes up with this little model summary, which says that we have explained about 37% of the variance in skill acquisition. Not a lot, but not terrible. If I double click this, it opens up another window with more info. So if you hover over this, it says the adjusted R squared is 0.373, 37% of, of the variance explained. Pretty good. It also says in order to do this analysis and run these models, I had to trim a bunch of outliers, which we can then find down here somewhere. Let's see right here. Here's some outliers in, um, actually in the dependent variable that it suggests we trim, and it might have trimmed those for this analysis. I actually don't know. And here's the important one. This is what tells us what the most important predictors are for skill acquisition. Turns out usefulness is the strongest predictor, followed by information quality, joy, ease of use, decision quality, etc. If we go down here, let's see, this one, sort of a more visual way to consider it. You can also change which effects you want to see. If you only want to see significant effects at the 0 0.05 level, you can take this little slider down to 0 0.05, and that says only at 95% confidence do I want to see these effects. So it turns out usefulness, if you hover over it, it has a 0 0.000 p-value, and the, um, the standardized effect is 0.492, so a very strong positive effect. Um, info quality is 0.176, also a moderate effect. Joy, 0.107, moderate effect. Um, what is this? Ease of use, eh, kind of a weaker effect. And decision quality, a weaker effect. But all of them significant at the 0.05 level.